So for the longest time now, I've had that SmartUps 3000 battery back up from the bottom of my rack with well, we're at one point brand new batteries. Now they're uh, two-year-old batteries that have been sitting idle and neglected. <laughs> and I haven't been able to use it because it uh, is for data center use, basically. And most data centers have Y three-phase. I'm not skilled enough to explain that properly, but basically with Y three-phase, each of the phases, three phases is uh, at the same potential versus Delta, which is what I have on the other side of my building, which there's a wild leg and somehow that wild leg is a higher voltage than the other two legs and yeah. I'm not qualified to explain that, but basically this battery back up at the bottom is made expecting a 208 three phase for the feed. Uh, it only needs single phase power, but um, Basically something to do with Y3 phase. The phases are a different voltage than um, 240 volt single phase. So I haven't been able to use that because if I plug that in 240 volt it panics and goes in over voltage mode and then um, I imagine it wouldn't like doing that long term because it's basically at that point uh, running off the battery backup instead of sending the power through and I imagine it'll get hot and do other stuff over time. And what I've ended up needing to do is get a buck boost transformer. And there we go. And basically from my limited understanding is this transformer gets energized and technically it's always under load I guess so it runs warm. But these uh, coils shown in these uh, wiring diagrams basically influence the voltage uh, in 16 volt increments and there's some incorrect information on this I'm gonna, let's see here I'm gonna find something to do. I'm just gonna set this on the floor there's some incorrect information on this and uh, it ended up needing to use uh, wiring, wiring diagram H um, and the interesting thing is, is this transformer is only rated for half a kVA of power. But that half kVA kind of depends on how you're using it. Um, so that half kVA rating, from what I understand, is basically the maximum amount of power that it can uh, uh, change. So... In the case of, let's see here, we're on the diagram. Here it is. Um, so depending on your uh, voltage and output, basically that kind of determines what the amount of power you can run through it is. And in my case I'm running 240 volt single phase. I'm going down from 240 to 208 and it's a uh, 20 amp. This can uh, handle a maximum feed size of 20 amps and the output ends up being 17 amps and some change. Or a little over 3 kVA. Which is kind of helpful. Uh, I had an electrician figure this out for me. Uh, if you choose to replicate what I did, it's kind of at your own risk because I don't know what circuits you have and all that. So I would definitely just consult an electrician. But basically, yeah, they uh, looked up the specs and they figured out, you know, what, what I needed and then got me the appropriately sized transformer. And there's other ones that can handle bigger loads. So like this next model up, it can take a 30 amp uh, feed and then it can run 26 and a half amps out and five and a half uh, kVA of power, basically. So, kind of neat. And somehow this is compatible three phase, but I think the wiring diagram is completely different. Um, but what this has given me the ability to do now is to use this off my uh, 240 volt circuit because this uh, part of my office is running on 240 volt because it's single phase power 
and I'm gonna move this light. That's what the transformer looks like in the corner. Let's see if I can find somewhere to put this light. It's not too annoying. There we go. I got it clean. I ended up uh, mounting it with some standoffs away from the wall. I'm not sure if the anchors I'm using <laughs> are going to be uh, correct. I've kind of tried jostling and pulling on and stuff, and eh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't casually fall off the wall. I might just uh, casually put the cords off this side like that, so when it falls, it just slams down on the carpet. But, um, yeah. So this little transformer gives me the ability to use that battery back up now. And it is uh, warm to the touch. It feels, uh, it's under basically no load right now, and basically uh, putting your hand on it uh, feels like putting your hand on someone's forehead that has like a fever. It's um, not cool to touch by any means. And it, I guess it's going to get pretty hot under full load, so uh, based on the manufacturers, it's rated for it, so yeah. <laughs> but the reason why I really wanted, hopefully I didn't just find you there. Um, the, really, the reason why I wanted to uh, be able to use this battery backup is because I have these APC PDUs, kind of like this one against the wall here, that I can run on the side of the rack, and I'm going to end up having two of them side by side. And that'll give me the ability to run my servers off of 208 volt instead of 120. But um, it'll give me a bit longer duration of battery backup as well. I've wanted to use these PDUs for a while now, but there's really not much stuff I have that I don't really care if it's on a battery backup or not. And this battery backup is to some degree designed, I guess you could say, to work with these PDUs since it has the same style of twist lock that the PDUs require. And this is, uh, no, there you go. Oop, it's an L L620P. If I remember right, the L6 basically means it's 240 volt. And then the 20P, the 20 stands for 20 amps, I believe, and then the P would be, um, plug instead of receptacle. I could be wrong, there could be other variations of that, but when I was looking into this previously, that was basically the impression I got with documentation. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, um, and uh, it's going to be good because the alternative was is I buy a different battery backup that was 240 volt capable. But those are like $2,000 new, and I only had to pay $500 for that. I paid a little extra because I wanted the electrician to uh, wire it up for me. I did supply the cords and the plugs, so I saved some money there. But, um, yeah, I could have gotten this cheaper after the fact. I, once I realized, uh, I had made the mistake of looking online, I was like, oh, man, I can, I can buy these pretty cheap on eBay. But, um... It is what it is. You live and learn. Um, but even after spending $500 on that, and then I think I spent $100 on batteries for this, and then I don't remember where I even got this battery backup from. I think it's from a recycling pickup, so I'm like $600 in. Way better than $2,000. Um, and then basically, yeah, the, the great thing about it is, is I'm going to be able to use these managed uh, zero U PDUs, as I call them. And I'll have one that's uh, coming straight off the wall and then one that's coming off the battery backup. And it'll give me the ability to be able to plug stuff in that like doesn't need battery backup. But at the same time, if I want battery backup, it, it, I have that ability too. And basically what I'm going to do with all these is I'm going to split the power supplies. One will plug into the battery backup and one will plug into no battery backup. But uh, yeah. So that's, that's pretty exciting. I got a bit of a mess right now because I'm stripping down my rack and removing things that are no longer going to be in here. Um, and then uh, got to work on getting things kind of reset up, put back the way they need to be. It's just going to be an adventure. Unfortunately, 
it is going to be a lot of downtime because I'm probably going to redo basically all the cabling in here because the switches are going to be coming towards the back of the rack. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video on this transformer. It was definitely uh, nice to finally get one because now I can use uh, my big battery backup. I don't know for certain. Ah, no, that's a shame. I was wondering if this could run an extended run cabinet as well, but it doesn't have support for that. I have some other battery backups in the warehouse that I might poke around and see, but I think they're requiring 30 amp circuits, so... Yeah, not not motivated enough to do that much electrical work. <laughs> but hopefully that's interesting, and thanks for watching.